Welcome back, everyone, to August's new episode of Undiscovered, where the undiscovered talent of the Carolinas gets their shot at stardom. I'm your host, Mia Danielle, and with me is co-host Jack Indigo. Thanks, Mia. And you know, it's really great for you to be back. Thank you. I'm glad I could make it this time. As always here on Undiscovered, we have some fresh new faces eager to show you what they've got. And just like on the last episode, we have a wide range of talent to show everyone tonight. But before I start, I would like to say a very big thank you to everyone who watches the show. Your views help inspire us to continue to giving the very best local talent we have. It really does. So on behalf of everyone here at Undiscovered, thank you so very much. It has been quite the experience for us all. <laughs> so let's not hold the show back any longer. We're all ready to go. So with that said, let's, let's start, start the, the show. show. For the first act of tonight, we have Brandon Bailey here with us, has been playing guitar since age four. And on bass guitar, we have Tony Stanley about to sing Simple Man by Leonard Skinner. Take it away, guys. <laughs> Take your time Don't live too fear Troubles will come They will pay And find one more Oh baby You'll find love And don't forget some Don't 
you worry you find yourself follow your heart and nothing new and you can do this Lord maybe if you try all that I want from me my son is to be Next up, we have One Day. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. How you doing? Doing good. All right, so uh, let's get the thing out of the air. How did you get the name One Day? Well, my mom, she was diagnosed with cancer in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and the doctors came in the room and informed her that she had a numerous of weeks to live, and immediately I started crying, and she looked me in the eyes, being the strong woman that she is, and she said, why are you crying? And I said, because you're going to die. And she said, baby, we all got to die one day. So that's how I came up with my name. Yeah. Well, your mother is a very strong woman, so uh, that's, that's a really hard thing to go through. But, um, yeah, so how long have you been writing music? Uh, since 11 years old. 11 years old. And uh, how do you write music? Like, what do you, do you just, like, get in the mood to do it? Or? I'm a universal artist, so, you know, I write all different types of music, you know, uh, whether it be rock and roll or Spanish or, you know, gospel music. I can go in every lane, you know, yeah. so... Uh, that's pretty cool. Very cool. Okay, and what will you be performing for us tonight? Spaz out. We spazzing out, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is, man. All right, so here's one day about the spaz out. Take it away, man. Spaz. 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 Spaz.
Next, we have LaWanda Davis. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so um, tell me, you've been writing and directing a play called Why Me? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, it's a play that has a lot of comedy. Oh, you're sure to laugh. And we have a special guest, Miss Vicki Wine, and it's going to be August the 5th. Vicky Wine. Yes. Oh, wow. And uh, you said August the 5th? Is, yes. that, is that your only show time, or how many others? Just that one show. Just that one show. So, And where will it be? In Elizabethtown. So, if you're in Elizabethtown and you want to see a really good show, come to see Why Me by LaWanda Davis. That's right. And uh, let's see, what will you be performing for us tonight? Uh, New Pilot is a song uh, about a female that has chosen to make Jesus her pilot. Oh, well, there you go. This will be New Pilot by LaWanda Davis. Take it away, ma'am. Everything I need. He has everything that I need. 
Felicia Marlowe. She is a poet and has been writing since the age of 10. And she has published a book last year. What's it called? Living Alone in a House Full of People. And she's going to be reading something from her book. Yes. Enjoy. Thank you. This poem is called How Could You Still Call Him Daddy? How could you still call him daddy when he's done the things that he did? starting when you were a young girl and then passing it on to your kid. I know that you have feelings inside that you're careful not to show, thinking that if you always smile, no one would ever know. I can see these things inside you because I feel them inside me. I give anything for us to join together and help set each other free. In your eyes, I can see your pain. From me, you cannot hide. And I know just what it feels like to be destroyed on the inside. You classify me as needy when I want to spend time with you. You push me away and make me feel small. For real, Mom, that's what you do. The wall that stands between us doesn't help either of us heal. And I'm sure that you simply push me away so you don't have to feel. I have no ulterior motive saying these things to you. Here's a quote I've learned to live by. To thine own self be true. Thank you. Now the last acts for the night, I have with me W.O. Turner. He served in the military for six years. The Marine, is that right? And what are you going to be singing for us tonight? One in a million, a dedication to my beautiful bride. That's very sweet. Take it away. Here we are. <laughs> Love had played his game on me so long I started to believe I'd never find anyone Doubt had tried to convince me to give in Said you can't win but One day the sun came shining through The rain had stopped and the skies were blue Oh, what a revelation to see Someone will say, I love you to me One in a million chance of a lifetime And like show compassion and said to Called you a one in 
was a lonely man with empty arms to fill Then I found the piece of happiness to call a mine And life is worth living again For to love you to me is to live Last act of the night, Mary Toussaint. Nice to meet you, Mary. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so uh, I heard that you recorded four song demos, and you are a cover girl. I mean, you are a model for cover girl. Can yes, you, I did, actually. Yeah, sure. I did a little bit of Seventeen Magazine in my teen years. And uh, when I was 21, I went to Nashville and recorded at Curb Studios. Wow. <laughs> that, that's impressive. I also heard that you're married to Michael and also have six sons. Yes. Can you tell us some of their names? Uh, yeah, my two oldest are both named Nick, mm -hmm. um, and then Matthew, Andrew, Chad, and Billy. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. And uh, what, you be, what will you be performing for us tonight? I'm going to be singing Jesus Take the Wheel by right. Carrie Underwood. All right. Well, here's Mary. Last act of the night, Jesus Take the Wheel. Thank you. Take it away. She was driving last Friday on her way to Cincinnati on a snow white Christmas Eve. Going home to see her mama and her daddy with a baby in the back seat. Fifty miles to go, she was running low on faith and gasoline. It'd been a long, hard year. She had a lot on her mind, she didn't pay attention, she was going way too fast. And before she knew it, she was spinning on a thin black sheet of glass. She saw both her lives flash before her eyes. She didn't even have time to cry. She was so scared. She threw her hands up in the air. Jesus, take the wheel. Take it from my hands. Cause I can't do this on my own. I'm letting go. So give me one more chance. Save me from this road. It was still getting colder and she made it to the shoulder and the car came to a stop. She cried when she saw that baby in the back seat sleeping like a rock. And for the first time in a long time, she bowed her head to pray. She said, I'm sorry for the way I've been living my life. 
I know I've got to change So from now on tonight Jesus, take the wheel Take it from my hands Cause I can't do this all night another memorable episode. I mean, this is just why I love this show, meeting people and hearing them perform. I mean, just the other day, I never even knew any of them, but each and every one has impressed me in, a, in their very own way. And all of them are just local people, people with abilities that are far from just being ordinary. That's right. Everyone who's been on the show, whether it has been just to try something new with their talents or to expand their horizons, really strives to not just be ordinary, but spectacular. So very true, Mia. And thanks, everyone who has been on Undiscovered. Also, like we said at the beginning, a very special thanks to everyone who watches. We really could not do this without you. We would like to extend our appreciation to our sponsors, Coastal Insurance, Help You Sell Realty, Phil Gore and Gore's Art, and lastly, Dale and Carrie Green for to from Top Hat Entertainment for providing quality audio for the show. And hey, also, if you just want to watch over past episodes, then look for us on YouTube at youtube.com backslash undiscoverednc. Or follow us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash undiscoverednc. Also, we encourage everyone to tell your friends about the show, and it would help Undiscovered grow. And that will be our show for tonight. Tune in next month for our AT on ATMC TV or YouTube for the next episode of Undiscovered, where the undiscovered talent of the Carolinas gets their shot at stardom. Okay, have, have a, a great night. night. Bye bye.